Hello everyone, my name is Bren McCauley and I just want to take this video as a time to share three miraculous stories about Pope St. John Paul II. And two of, out of, two out of the three I got from Jason Everett's book on Pope John Paul II and his five loves. So what is one miracle of Pope John Paul II? Well, there was a little girl who was deaf. She was born and she couldn't hear. And her and her mom went to the Vatican and this little girl drew the Pope a picture. But what are the odds that this picture will get to the Pope? Yeah, not likely at all. The mom saw a Swiss guard and, and went up to the Swiss guard and said, hey, this is a picture that my daughter drew. I don't know if the Pope can get it, but I just wanna give it to you. If you see him, please give it to him. Swiss guards don't see the Pope that often, really. And so the Swiss guard walked into the Vatican and oh, there's the Pope's secretary and gave the picture to the Pope's secretary who sees Pope a lot. And the secretary ended up giving the picture to the Pope. Later that day, the Pope was in his Pope mobile going around Vatican Square, waving around, kissing babies' heads, all that. And he stopped, he, he said, stop the Pope mobile. And he looked over and saw a little girl and he walked up to her and said, mm, you must be Catalina. And he put his hands on her and prayed for her. The next day comes, the mom called the Vatican and says, I don't know what happened, but my daughter can hear. Amazing story. That's one miracle of Pope John Paul II. A second miracle. There was a married couple who was infertile and they've been trying to have a baby and they got tests. They're not fertile. They can't have a baby. And so they go and they try to get a blessing from the Pope and they ask the Pope, we, we need your prayers. We, we want to have a child, but we're infertile. And so Pope John Paul II laid his hands over them. And after a while, he started grinning. And he said, mm, you are pregnant with a baby boy. And they go and they get tested. And yes, she's pregnant with a baby boy. Second miracle by Pope John Paul II. And the th third miracle, which is an unbelievable miracle, was that Pope John Paul II was shot on May 13th, 1981. And this day is the feast day of Our Lady of Fatima, where in the early 1900s, Mary appeared to three children and prophesied about three things that will happen in the future. And one of those was that a bishop dressed in white would be gunned down. This was Pope John Paul II. And he was shot by a trained assassin, not far from him at all. And here's the miracle. First thing was that he was rushed to the hospital and the head surgeon was gone. And the head surgeon was in his car and he, his day was off, but he just felt like, I need to go to the hospital. I need to go. He didn't know why. He went to the hospital. Okay, he knows why he needed to be there. After looking at the injury of John Paul II, they were shocked that he didn't die because of the amount of blood that he lost. An analyst showed later on that there was a miracle. The bullet that the assassin shot was going up towards his heart. But before it hit his heart, it went down 90 degrees. How did that happen? It's a miracle. Pope John Paul II says, one person shot the bullet, another guided the bullet. And he attributed that miracle to Our Lady of Fatima, to Mary. So these are just three miracles that I just wanted to share with you because I think miracles are incredible and stories give us hope. So if you enjoyed this video, please subscribe to my channel, share it with any of your friends or family, hit the notification bell, and we'll see you soon. Thanks.